Okay, guys, we're uh, chapter one, section one for algebra. We are looking at variables and expressions. Variables, as the magic pen writes, and expressions. I have enough space. Just made it. We know that uh, the variables are something that's unknown. We might represent them by x or y or possibly z. I put a little tail on my z, guys, just so it doesn't look like a 2, just personal preference. What we're going to do is we're going to create uh, expressions with these variables. Um, we need to go over some key terms for using or for making expressions. What are some things you could think of that mean the same thing as addition? Some things that come to my mind would be plus Maybe increase, you might see, or you might have thought of more. Let's go to subtraction. As I get to learn how to use this pen, some things that you might think of for subtraction possibly decrease, maybe less. How about multiplication? I'm just going to put multiply. Some words you might think of might be times. Um, the math geek, as I like to call it, the math geek in me tells me the word here is product. And then when we look at dividing, the math geek term in this one would be quotient. So those are some key terms that, uh, that will be crucial as we go through learning these expressions. So let's get started. I'm going to write a verbal expression for an algebraic expression. What that means is this is what it looks like written algebraically. How do I write it out in words? In this case, I see that there's multiplication. I see that there's a power. So I might write three times a number, because we don't know what the number is, that would be our variable. And then what am I doing with that three times a number? I'm taking it to the fourth power. Okay, so I've got three times a number to the fourth power. I could have written the product of three and a number to the fourth power. That would have also been acceptable. 
Now, what if I had something like this? How about 5x squared Okay, 5x squared plus 16. What are some things you would think of right now? Some key terms. There's some addition, there's exponent, there's some multiplication. So if we look back at our screen, we could be thinking plus an increase. We've got a multiplication, so we could be looking at product. Very similar to the one up above, we could say five times a number I'm going to go ahead and say five times a number squared. And then, here's my grammatical English. I hope that's correct. Five times the number squared plus 16. And that wasn't good grammar up there. Let me, let me erase that. A comma. There we go. Five times a number squared plus 16. This completes chapter one, section one. Variables and expressions. Variables are the unknown. If you're looking for some key terms, Look at the top of page six in your textbook at some point tomorrow in class. We've got key terms for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and also some good examples between uh, pages five, six, and seven. We will see you in the morning. Have a good evening.